Hello, this is the Rambly Zone, and this is for my podcast for Saturday, January 2nd, 2016. I'm getting used to doing that. Um, I didn't get one out on the first, so Happy New Year. Uh, hope you had a good New Year. Uh, we did. We had a, we had a fun time. Um, in-laws came over, daughter came over, and watched a lot of bowl games, ate some good food, and had had a fun time. Um, my sleep schedules are just totally messed up. I have not had a full night's sleep since last year. Um, it's been a number of days. And uh, so I'm kind of on the tired side. I'm trying not to take naps. Because I think that was part of my problem as I was taking naps. And I was getting all my sleeping done during the day. Uh, so I'm trying to get myself, because I go back to work on Monday, trying to get my sleeping schedule, um, straighten around. I guess I forgot to put my phone on silent. Uh, we tried to go see Star Wars for a second time earlier today, and, uh, granted we were just a little bit before the show, but, uh, it was, it was pretty much sold out. We couldn't get three seats together, so we're going to a 1.30 show. It's just about noon right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Looking for some, uh, keep my eyes open for some details that I might have missed last time. Like, uh, you know, so um, I am looking forward to that. Talking about messed up, you know, my sleep patterns are messed up, is we had an interesting experience. We went out New Year's Eve. It was early. It was before 7. Um, because the city of Rochester here, they do what they call the Big Bright Light Show, and that were all of the buildings in downtown Rochester, um, they, they put lights up, and they're just totally covered in lights. And so the whole street of downtown each store is covered in Christmas lights. Each store is a different color. And it's something that's grown over the years. And so uh, the in-laws wanted to see that. So we went for a drive to see that. And we were we were approaching it from the north. And we were... Um, it, there was this north-south north road that it's on. And we were actually approaching that road. And there was this car in front of us. And it was weaving like crazy. And, you know, it was at this point, I think, like 10 minutes to 7. I mean, it was early. And um, it turned out it was, there was a woman driving this car later on. Just to determine that. And we, uh, the wife called 911. And I was following this woman at a little bit of distance. And she was weaving all the place. When she did the, the we had to do a right turn to go down the road where the big bright light show was. And she took that so wide, and, and there's two lanes to turn into. She took it so wide, I actually thought she came close to hitting people that were waiting to turn left going the other direction. Um, and we followed her, and she, 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 had, you know, she couldn't stay in her lane. And the wife's talking to the 911 dispatcher, and they're trying to talk to um, the sheriff's office dispatcher uh, to get... Uh, you know, to, to get somebody in position to intercept, intercept her. And we actually, we ended up following her for like three or four miles. Um, and at one point when we were downtown, she like was just crawling along at 15 miles an hour. And so I let myself out because I was, wasn't in her, in her lane. I was next to her. But I was creeping along with her. But I, I went up to the light and I passed her and I could see she was a woman and she was just she was she looked like she was towed. She had both hands on the wheel and she was just gripping it. She just looked like she was totally um two sheets of the wind. And uh two sheets of wind? Three sheets of the wind? I think it's three sheets of the wind. She might have been four sheets of the wind. She looked pretty far gone. And she we got past the light and she continued on. I actually ended up getting right uh immediately behind her at one point, and um, as we were passing this, this, we went all the way through the light show, uh, you know, focused pretty much on this, on this woman, and, you know, the wife on 911 and whatnot, 
and uh, finally we were we were like two miles south of there and we were passing to an intersection following her and there was a cop waiting and uh, he he got he turned and he, he sped up and he got between us and them and uh, and she was turning into a store and he was following her and that was the last we knew about it. So we don't know, we were assuming that he caught her, um, but we don't know that for sure. Uh, it would be kind of nice to know the rest of the story, but uh, we actually turned around uh, and went back because we were driving south, headed, headed back north so that we could... Um, go back to the big bright light show and kind of, you know, see the lights and enjoy them and not be worrying about <laughs> this drunk driver. And uh, so we did that and we, we couldn't see where any, you know, cop lights as we passed the little entrance of the store that she went into. So we're not sure, you know, they could have gone to some other part of the parking lot that we just can't see from there or what, but... Uh, I, I, I got to imagine she was impaired because you know, the speed was off and she was just all over the all over the darn place. Um, so maybe hopefully we prevented her from hurting herself or, you know, hurting somebody else. So I guess that was our good deed for the for the end of the year. Uh, she may not have seen it as a good deed, but I I. I wasn't really comfortable just saying, oh, look, there's a drunk driver, let her go on her way. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's really all I got to talk about today. Um, just trying to do some things around the house. Well, actually, I'm trying to relax a little bit and not do anything around the house because we, we, we spent a full three days clearing out this house and taking stuff to Salvation Army. Um, we, Thursday, you know, through Wednesday, and then Thursday was getting ready for the family to invade, and then they were here, uh, like at midday. So, so uh, yeah, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week. Uh, I'm sure on Monday when I get to work, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna need uh, some time off to uh, recover from my time off. But uh, it's a new year, and I'll get right back to it. I've got class starting up next week. And, uh, and work starting up next week, so I'm going to have to try to hit the ground running. Anyway, I will be back on Monday, and I will be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.